Hey Harmonizers, welcome to the Florida Horse Park. We are here for an eventing competition. Stick with me and I'm going to show you guys the entire cross country course, give you guys some tips and tricks along the way and explain a little bit about what the heck is an eventing competition and why would you want to try one? Here's a little look at some of the cross country portion of eventing. So eventing is actually three different phases together. There's a cross country, there's show jumping, and then there is dressage. Here's a little look up close and personal with some of the cross country fences. You can see how big they are compared to Evelyn there on the ground. And the cross country portion is kind of the most exciting part because it's these big natural fences, but it is combined with the dressage and the show jumping as well. So here's a little look at some of the cross country. It's these huge open galloping tracks, big massive fields, and really big fences that are pretty solid. And there's such a variety of what you can get asked to do. So some solid fences, there's some water elements. So here's a jump down into the water. Now there are a bunch of different levels, just like with any other competition. So there are more beginner levels with a lot lower jumps. If you're looking at those and thinking they're pretty huge, because definitely this table jump here is quite wide, especially when you get up to it. I believe this was the open preliminary round. Those are the jumps that we're looking at right now. And then there are some bigger ones for the advanced, and then there's definitely smaller ones for the lower levels as well. So you still get the variety in heights and levels that you do in the other types of competition. For me, kind of the most exciting thing is you get to see all of the different types of fences and terrain that the horses are asked to go on. And you really get to see horses perform at their peak and at their most athletic and agile cells. It's really, really exciting to kind of watch and see just what horses are capable of doing. I'll show you guys some different cross country jumps that are out there, some of the different things the horses were doing and kind of take you around. This is at Florida Horse Park and here's kind of the parking area. You can see a bunch of the different trailers. It was a really busy show. This is just kind of a small glimpse of the layout of everybody that was there. Of course, it was great food. We had some crepes for lunch. There was lots of good options to have and uh, we had a really good fun day being out there enjoying everything. There was some shopping too and Evelyn got to meet some little friends there. Here's a little look at the show jumping ring in the background there. There's some little shops set up along the way. I always enjoy just going to the horse shows like here I'm not competing or anything we're just going and hanging out we meet new friends meet new people this is Evelyn with her little friends along the way some of the shopping there I just think it's a fun way to spend a day if you've got a weekend uh, go check out one of the horse shows here's a little look at the show jumping phase and this is basically judged like a normal show jumping round and the objective is to jump cleanly and this is kind of important to have both this round along with cross country because these jumps can come down and what happens when horses jump a lot of cross country is they can become a little bit less careful with the jumps because the the they're used to the fences not coming down or they're used to the fences having some brush that they can kind of breeze through with their legs a little bit and they can become a little less careful and these show jumping jumps they actually do fall down they can be knocked and so having both the cross country round and this show jumping round really tests the skills of the horses because in cross country you don't want your horse over jumping the jumps because it's a very long course uh and you want to kind of allow the horse to um, cut some corners a little bit on those cross, cross country jumps. This is a little look at the dressage complex. I didn't stay to watch any of the actual dressage rounds, just the timing didn't work out. So most of the time I spent watching the cross country because it is super exciting. This is the little starting entry box there. Once they cross through there, their time started and off they go out on their pattern. And I'll take you guys around some of the different jumps on the course. So because this is such a long course, they're going very far distances, your horse will learn to kind of do the bare minimum with the jumps. They want to clear them, but at the same time, it's a very long course, lots of challenging aspects of it. Some reasons why you might want to try doing some eventing, even if you don't compete in eventing, is it's a very well-rounded sport. You do the dressage portion, which lets you have 
some level of finesse with your horse. You do the cross country portion, which really gets at the horse's bravery and agility. You're going to see as we go through a bunch of these different jumps, the terrain is very different. They're jumping uphill, they're jumping downhill, they're jumping from big long spots like we just saw there. They're jumping up banks. This is jumping up onto a bank, jumping down off of a drop. So very athletic, tight turn coming into this jump here. So they really need to be able to steer. They need to be able to balance themselves. And you really have to be in tune with your horse. Even just the idea of eventing, even if you look at those jumps and think that's way too big, I'm never going to do that. Just that idea of being able to ride up, ride down, make those transitions to go from faster to slower. All of those things are going to have a really big demand on the physical aspect of the horse. The balancing piece is really, really good for them, their fitness level, and just that challenge of, of working together. This longer clip here gives you an idea of just how long the course is. This is just a very small portion of the course and you get to see the long stretches. In some spots, they actually have a, a judge on a cart that is checking to see if they're doing the jumps cleanly. Now with the cross country portion, they're just checking to see if they have any refusals. There aren't knockdowns with the cross country jumps. So they're just checking to see if they need to refuse and making sure that they're jumping between the flags that are on the jumps to make sure that they're actually doing the jumps correctly. So I thought this was kind of neat that they're using the gator there, the cart to drive ahead to monitor the horse over a couple of the different jumps and then that cart drives back and the way they do it is one person will kind of start and then once that person is a couple minutes into the course they will let the next person go and that way there are a couple people on the course at the same time roughly a couple minutes apart from each other so that way if there is a refusal or something happens there's some time in between the horse and rider combinations but ultimately you've got people jumping all along and you've also got people that are walking the course at the same time. So people that are competing in different divisions might be out there on the course walking. They stay out of the way, but you can just walk around, which is why I was able to walk around and get video of all the different jumps and things happening, giving you guys a little look at the whole horse park there and the big spans that it is. Another really interesting skill and a great skill that comes out of cross country and eventing is the ability to ride your horse in an open field. There's uh, no fencing around. It's just wide open. The horses could run back to the trailer if they really wanted to. And they have really great speed control with being able to go faster. So they have these big, long gallop stretches that we're seeing right here. And then when they come into the fences, you'll see they often slow down, get their horse more balanced and get them prepared to do the jumps. And it depends on the jumps, the combination jumps, they're gonna slow them down a bit more, or if there's uneven terrain, or if there's a tight turn, they tend to slow them down a little bit more and balance them. So you really need to have the ability to ride your horse in an open field. See here's going down a little bit of a hill and then coming back up here. And that ability to steer and ride up and down those hills with that speed control is so important. And I think that's something that everybody could practice more with their horses is practice going fast on purpose because then it won't seem so scary if you do it by accident, but also practicing the ability to manage those emotions of going faster, going slower and doing the steering. And you don't have to steer over jumps. You could just set out some pylons that you're going to ride between and practice riding between those pylons at different speeds, practice uh, riding between pylons going up and down hills if you've got access to some hills, just to challenge you and your horse a little bit more to combine things together. This little clip here shows you guys my stroller beside one of the jumps just so you can gauge the size because sometimes it's kind of hard on a video to see just how big something is. And I feel like that helps to show you what um, what some of the jumps are on this course. Kind of neat jumping down into the hill, making a little turn. It's almost like a little blind corner there. Not much warning before having to jump there. And I love that this sport just creates really brave horses that are jumping virtually anything <laughs> that comes in front of them 
and also just such extreme athletes that are so fit, traveling pretty long distances, not just galloping and cantering around, but also jumping at the same time. So they're really fit horses, really fit riders too, to be able to ride around these courses. This is kind of a fun one going down into the tricaner there, the ditch that they jump over and out the other side, kind of a, a neat one having the ditch. So the jumps themselves can be pretty dangerous because they are solid and they do have some ditches. Here's one that shows some water that they uh, go in and jump over and actually do the jump inside the water, which is kind of neat. So there's definitely opportunity for air, just like there is in a lot of other sports. So it's really important that they train and prepare their horses really well, practicing things, uh, practicing a lot of grid work, a lot of adjusting their stride because they're not set to perfect strides. It's not like the hunter competition where everything's measured precisely. These jumps, um, you have to be able to adjust your stride based on your horse. So I always get really impressed with the agility of these horses and the versatility of the horses and riders together. And I think a big lesson that we can learn from them is that it's good to practice all aspects of horseback riding, the steering, the emotional control, the speed control. It's all a lot of fun.